So how did you get caught up in crime? Like, how old was you when you started? I would say, I would say probably like, I wouldn't know these at age yet, but school days, obviously. Mm. Mum was um, slinking my brethren. And these days it was like, like I said, we was just going to other schools and just mm-hmm. jerking use. Yeah. But then like, you would jerk a phone, like a old phone that could hold music or something, but you get like mm-hmm. a one-off for that, or, do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then after that, there was on spot, like where I'm from, yeah, there was on spot. And there was like the Turks had it, mm. but then they they did some operation and 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 bagged up like they banged up all the Turks. So they had this spot where they used to sell weed and that. Mm. And it was just outside the bookies on Philip Lane in Tottenham. And I used to chill there, mm. like after school and that. And bear man used to come to me like bear like big men used to come to me like, right, have you got any weed? You mm. got any weed? Because <laughs> mm. obviously the Turks used to have that spot like yeah, they, they used on. to do that, but they all got bagged. And then, so this spot was just like, they kept asking for weed. So one day I just invested in weed. Mm. And then, yeah, I just started moving. And then I said, right, I'm going to put these lot on the line. Gave them the number, da 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 da. And then it just made sense, bro. When I learned how to do all of that stuff, yeah, it just made sense. Rather than getting my education, I'd say mm-hmm. that. Because after that, I was doing that. Then I started, obviously, you move on to like the nose and that, selling nose. And mm. then after that, I went up country, mm. started doing country, built on my own line in country. So all of this was happening. These times I should be in education, do you know mm. what I'm saying? But when I was in country, it was like, the amount of bread that I was making, it just didn't make sense for me to be going through some education system that when mm. you're finished, yeah, sometimes you're not even guaranteed the job, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm like, well, man's making bread now, da 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 so yeah and that was my own line I was su- such a young age and then mm. BM man respected it as well like you got your own line mm. da, 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 da. Mm. do you know what I'm saying and then yeah bro and then I just was just doing that and then then yeah eventually I get bagged mm. what did you get bagged for? Yeah, that was uh, for food for selling food but this was time ago okay, yeah. so this was, was this was yeah this, yeah this was like yeah okay. that was the first time I ever got a, a proper sentence before that I was going for like minor things mm-hmm. but like yeah. So what did it? What did you? Um, they give you for that? I got four years in total. Oh, yeah. four do two. Yeah. Um, how was that? Um, uh, how did you find it? Because obviously that's your introduction. Yeah. To prison life. So these and... times I was like a wyo in it. So mm. I was like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I thought it was like, I thought prison was gonna be mad. Like I thought mm. it was like the movies and that. Do you know what I mean? I thought like when I when I land up in prison. It's just gonna be mad, like might as well just get it cracking with somebody quickly. So da, 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 that's how I thought it was gonna be. Mm-hmm. And I remember when I come up to prison, gone up there. I remember just thinking like, rah, I've let down my family in it. Mm-hmm. Like you know, cause like I told you, like my grand was yeah, a godly was person. Grand? Yeah, she she was like a godly person. Yeah, and so she was flinging down enough prayers. Yeah, like mm. but like she. she She's not knowing, even though she's finding bits and pieces in the yard and that and dashing it away, doing what she's mm-hmm. doing, but she's not knowing that man's ever going to jail or nothing like that. So, yeah, when I was in jail, when I first went jail, I was more concerned about how she's feeling. Mm-hmm. I had yeah. a girl at the time, I was thinking, like, yeah. how she feeling kind mm-hmm. of thing. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, the first night, it was just a bit... Then I was thinking as well, how am I gonna, how am I gonna bust this case? Mm-hmm. I didn't get bagged with nothing. Do you know what I'm saying? It was like it was like a conspiracy. Oh, so you was on remand to begin with? Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. took a trial? No, no, no. I pleaded oh. guilty as soon as as soon as I saw you, my my guy said, ah, oh, plead because it was a money laundering thing as well, innit? Mm. So there was like, if you plead guilty and you just admit, da 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 da, like you won't get because they end up putting a poker on you, mm-hmm. like proceeds of crime and that. And they said like, if you just sign off and go guilty, then should be all right. So yeah, I went guilty, um, and yeah, got that, and yeah, that was my first. That was my first sentence. But yeah, I thought, I thought it was gonna be Pete, but it was, mm. it was just like the man them, mm. but all in one place kind of thing. Did you start a film? Yeah, no, that was like time ago. But my first proper sentence, it was Norwich, mm. Norwich. Oh yeah, I've done Norwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Done. You already know, fam. Like yeah, I was up there. It was be a racist. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I knocked out Mr. Campbell in Norwich. So that, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember Mr. Campbell, but when was that? Like, I was there like all 10 Norwich, times, all 11 Norwich. times. Oh, 2001. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. when, imagine, that's when I first 
um, met my brethren. That's when I first made um, brethren's with Sharon. You get me? R.I.P. Oh, yeah, yeah, some little thing did go on and Screw just pissed me up. But yeah, I knocked him out. And then when they was twisting me up and all that, my man, went, he was like telling them, get off him, like allow him now. Yeah. And cut a long story short, he ended up punching out one of them and yeah. Yeah, we both yeah. got. We both got um, sorry, that was in um, that was in Chelmsford. Then we got sent to Norwich. Norwich, me and him had a. Um, oh, both went Norwich together. Yeah, yeah, we had we had. Now nah, he went first. Then I got sent and then he sent me Norwich. Norwich, we had a little um, we had a little riot, kind of not riot, but we moved to like bare bare white. That's where I met um, biscuit. Oh, okay. Biscuit, yeah, big up biscuit yeah. and shimmy. Yeah, that's when I was in Norwich. Shimmy, shimmy. Yeah, yeah, from Northwest. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Said that. Yeah, 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 that was like oh one, I think. Yeah, yeah, Norwich. That's what was going in Norwich. Then they sent. I know um, she means, no? They sent us um, Felton after that. Yeah, blood. Yeah. All right, P. Roll me though. So yeah, um, so Norwich and then what? Yeah, so but I ended up doing it. Um, so yeah, when I was first in prison, like I thought it was gonna be mad, da 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 da. But these times it was. Um, like this is my first proper like where I'm gonna go jail for a minute. So this was like Norwich here. Yeah? So I'm thinking everyone around man was like just normal people in it. Like in, in, come man's from the ends and that year. Man, are real niggas in it. So mm. I'm thinking like not even everyone here is real. Like most of these man are just anybody kind of thing. Yeah. Mm. So I thought right, this isn't that bad kind of thing. Obviously in Norwich, you link up with the other London youths and that. So mm-hmm. I ended up linking the London youths and then, yeah, it, it just ended up, it was all right. But at the same time, it was like, man ain't got no freedom in it. Do you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And, you know, you know what they say like, you know, sometimes they say like prison, it's like, oh, some people be like, oh, it's a holiday camp because they allow you to play PlayStation and the mm-hmm. Xbox and everything like that. But even if they allow them things, whatever they allow you, you ain't got your, your liberty in it, so mm-hmm. you can't just go shop. Exactly. You can't just go mm. link your girl, you can't just, you can't do nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people are telling you, you're banged up 23 hours a day, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I'll eat what you want. Yeah, so. It's not the greatest holiday. Nah, it was not the greatest holiday, bro, but obviously, you know when you first ride it, because the mm. first one was small, so you first ride it, you think, yeah, I can, this is light, da 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 mm. I got a bit more respect from the ends, mm. whatever, and then, yeah, bro, ended up getting recalled straight away, and then after that, that's how I caught the big one, the ten. Mm. You know, how I started, what I was doing. Yeah, well, <laughs> how did how did you um, end up in that pullover to end up getting a ten? Uh, what was yeah. your way of thinking, even coming out yeah. after the four? What made you continue with your madness rather than all right? Uh, let me stop now. Obviously, yeah, we, we're talking about crime and punishment, yeah. Yeah, that's the main. Yeah, subject. that's the that's the topic. Mm. So, bam, what do you think? Do you think punishment works? Like, yeah. especially if you're already used to getting beats by your mum or whatever, and that didn't really work, yeah? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you mm. think punishment works, like, to antisocial kids? To some people, you can punish, to some, some and they're people. never going to do that again. Yeah, yeah. But for Everyone's some man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, punishment just but doesn't people work. people go jail and become out a better criminal than when they went in. Mm. 100%, you yeah. just go in there and make more links. Exactly. Like what they need is more rehabilitation within the prison system. There's like you know, like if there was like more mentorship and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. You know what? So therefore, like they can kind of sparks people's brains to like think differently. Or there was programs that when you come out, you can do something with yourself. Yeah. But if when you come out, you're gonna have a record. It's hard for you to get a job. Whatever, whatever. Like, what do you expect them to really mm. do? I think to punish um, the system. Sometimes it works for some people, but. Not a lot of the time. Yeah, I don't think it works, car. Mm-hmm. You get me? You've got, like, Norway in these places that they've got jail where they focus on rehabilitation mm-hmm. and it's not really about the punishment. No. Mm. You get me? And then their reoffending rate is the lowest mm. in the world, I think. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? But here, it's just like, yeah, bang them up. Mm. Throw the key away. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. And that's what they do to man. They just bang man up and then you're around like-minded people. Mm. You make your links, da 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 and then you come out and you ain't really learnt nothing. Yeah. I don't know, I don't respond well to punishment. The only thing you've learned, if, if anything, is crime. More, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, that's what I found. And mm. then in jail, you got to be about your, your thing anyways, kind of thing, if you want to live that life, innit? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So 
you're getting worse right. in you jail. Got, you got you got more savage people to look up to now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like outside, you might have been looking up to some shiny people or some. Yeah, now yeah, you yeah. got some savages, savages to look to up. up. To, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying? So exactly. as a YO anyway. Yeah, as a as a young offender. Mm. So yeah, bro, I didn't I didn't really fair jail. Mm. You get me? I didn't really fair jail. I, I wasn't even really focusing on the impact I was making on my family. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really focusing on that. It didn't really cross my mind even mm. when I'm thinking now. I had to, I had to turn, I had to, I had to get this big one that I did now for me to understand, like, rah, people are actually missing out. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I remember my grand, like, she used to put up decorations at Christmas or whatever, and she, she ain't put them up for all the ten years. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, if I'm, if I'm not there, if everyone's not there, she won't put them up in it. Yeah. And I just didn't really think that I wasn't, that I was um, affecting, them affecting like people. I was like. Mm. The bird's hard, but that's my struggle. Let yeah. me struggle with, But then you're not thinking it's about that. It's everybody's well. struggle. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's everyone that's around you's struggle. So I wasn't really... I wasn't really thinking about that. But yeah, I come out and... Yeah, I noticed know, it's only like the really big sentences that make people really kind of change their mind. You know, yeah, when you've yeah. got like that long, I mean, lengthy to, time to sit down in a certain age that you may be at. So you know, like, you've got to... What do you reckon? Yeah. No, you, yeah, you have to... on the individual. Yeah, on the individual, yeah. And some people just a day will change Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just exactly. Just day will change <laughs> day can change yeah, your mind. Some yeah. people just a day, they don't want to go back. Yeah. There's man that, yeah, there's man that will do little four months mm. and they're like, they hate this place, mm. like they never <laughs> come back to prison. And I heard that, but like when you're on the road, that was Max. <laughs> mm. <laughs> he said he was kicking, he was like, get me out. Uh, yeah, 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 trust me, come <laughs> it's, it's mad in there, but... See, my first call D, blood. Like, we mm. went to jail, yeah? Like, he's never been back to prison. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? I feel like I've done about a year, and a year and a half. Do you get what I'm saying? But he's never been back to prison. Mm. I went back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. So, it, it affects people differently, yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? It definitely does, but let me rewind quickly. Uh, I was... Remember I told you I got that spot when I first started selling weed outside of the... Um, yeah, yeah, the book the mm -hmm. Yeah. So bam, I see a couple of the older lot going into the bookies and that, and see them with wads of cash and that, and I mm. was like, right, the bookies is, is, is it, that's a that's, that's a way to make bread kind of thing. Da, 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 da. Mm. So I remember I went in there. I was underage. I wasn't even supposed to be in there. I went in there, and I made a few a few grand for the first time. Like I made some peas in the bookies, and I was like, mm. right, this place pays kind of thing. But I've, long story short, I ended up spending big money like the first time I ever licked off a bookies yeah I put 10 bags in one day in the bookies bro in just a normal bookies like mm. I, I took 6 bags then 4 bags put it in the bookies lost it and I was like no way mm. so then I jerked them do you know yeah, what I'm saying gambling problem basically yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know it then yeah, yeah. but I did mm. Mm. and then I jerked them mm. I said fuck this these are like robbing people like this is set up against you do you know mm. what I'm saying mm. then I started thinking yeah, I started getting deeper to it like why is all the bookies if you go to Tottenham or Hackney or mm. Brixton Peckham any of these type of areas mm. yeah, you see like a, a a bag of bookies but then if you go like Chelsea or the city yeah, like, you, yeah you better, you're not going to see them do you know what I'm like saying even in North so like, I thought like them. right these like these, this is like a conspiracy thing, da, 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 but I, I was jerking them, do you know what I mean? Mm. I was hitting them bookies like after that. So, bam, anyways, I was doing what I was doing, whatever, whatever. Because I'm still doing, I've come out of jail, I'm still doing my thing, mm. but now at the same time, I'm hitting these as well, do you know mm. what I'm saying? So I'm, mm. I'm doing everything. And, anyways, in the end, yeah, they tried to. Um, Flying squad got man. Mm. They tried to um, hit me with bear charges. Da, 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 da. Ended up only sticking four on man. Mm. I took it trial. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. like cause there was no real evidence or I anything can't like that. This fly again, you know. Yeah, this fly. Yeah, no, nah, it's been coming in there a couple of times, but. And yeah, that's how. Deluxe don't know about flare spray, but go on. <laughs> yeah, he's getting mad, go on. But yeah, that's how. Mm. That's that's how I got my ten from car. I was robbing them, I was hitting them, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And they were trying to get me on bears, 
they didn't they had a, you know they have a certain amount of time to get me on it mm. and they couldn't bring the evidence so they ended up just getting me on a few of them so you feel like you got a touch with that i got a touch 100 percent. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 100%, no, 100 i got a touch i know i know i got a touch even though it was a big sentence car mm. remember i was 24 at the time yeah and the judges were all like yeah by the time you come out you're going to be a, a, a more mature person i knew mm. that meant when I come out, I'm going to be 30. Like, I just knew that's what he meant, innit? Mm. So I knew he was going to give man a 10, innit? So, yeah, bro. That's that's basically how mm. I got a 10. I was just hitting beer bookies and that, and then, yeah, they got a man. Went to trial and caught a 10. Mm. 